In this video, we will be covering how to build a simple puppet in Adobe Illustrator and compile the parts in Flash to make something usable in animation. Let's try to build a simple 3 quarters Angel Bunny puppet. We've already gathered various reference images and placed them on their own layer. But for now, let's focus on the image in the center, which is a good starting pose for a basic Angel Bunny. It's important to note we shouldn't just start vectoring away at the image. You should probably resize the image beforehand so that the strokes in the image match the strokes you are using, which in this case is always three. To fix this, you may need to expand, shrink, skew, or squash the image until it matches the desired proportions. Now that we can start, you need to keep joints in mind. You can't just vector the lines on the screen like pieces of art found in the MLP Vector Club. But, vector the lines blocked from view that allow it to be flexible. For example, more joints on an arm gives it more flexibility, but it is harder to make and manage. We'll begin by vectoring the torso, giving it and every part we make its own layer. For this thigh, we would want the foot to be on a separate layer, so that it moves and rotates on its own. Let's vector the thigh lower than it's shown in the image, so that we can move the foot without it looking odd. View your puppet through the eyes of the animator who is going to be using it, and think of convenient ways to use and organize it so that they can animate it with ease. Remember the ultimate goal of a puppet is to convince the viewing audience that it isn't a puppet so make sure to give it the ability to be flexible and not act like a stiff prop. If you are tracing something from the show like shown, a good rule of thumb is to make sure your puppet can do everything the actual show puppet can do. Now that we have basic parts vectored out on their own layers, let's bring up symbols in Illustrator. You can make symbols in Illustrator that will import into Flash as symbols, 
However, in Illustrator, they are mostly used for editing multiple instances of an object easily and cannot be used for storing additional frames until it gets into Flash. For this reason, let's handle all converting to symbols in Flash later. We're finished the vectoring portion of making Angel Bunny. Now all that's left is compiling it into a usable puppet in Flash. Let's copy and paste the vectors over. You'll notice Flash also keeps the same layers we used in Illustrator when importing an AI file. Turn each part into a symbol in the way you intended the puppet to be used when you made it. Since you would want all the objects in the head to move with it when you rotate it, we'll be making all those parts into their own symbol called head and distributing the layers once we are inside that symbol. Assign some rotation points, and make sure the joints move around smoothly on your puppet. Now let's talk about adding a new part from Illustrator. An ear for an example. Remember to resize the image so that it matches your stroke width. All you need to do now is vector and import it while you are still inside the ear symbol. Since all vectors from Illustrator are drawing objects, it's also a good idea to use break apart on them once they are in flash. And that's all there is to it. It is a good idea to throw your puppet into an animation test to see how it handles and what needs to be adjusted. There will be a more completed version of this puppet for download in the description so you can see for yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below.